Gorilla physics. Yeah. Ow. So this cake is dedicated to how we calculate the distance to nearby stars, which is trigonometric parallax, which is the diagram here. Absolute showstopper. Well done. Do you want to explain? Not particularly. Not particularly. <laughs> so this is our sun. This is the Earth in January, let's say, and this is the Earth in June, let's say, so six months apart. That's, that's only five months. <laughs> Done. January, July, six months apart, anyway, half a year. This is the stars' distance we're trying to measure, and this is the background of fixed stars. And basically, by measuring the difference in parallax angle, difference in angle here, optically, and knowing the distance from the Earth to the Sun, we can work out the distance to the star. Banging cake, well done. Gorilla physics! So this cake has been made by my prime, I mean my um, A2 physics class, and we're going to explain the A2 physics involved in the cake here. There's very little involved. <laughs> Other than the <laughs> luminosity of the sun being white, showing you can use a standard candle to work out other galaxies and how far they are away from the stars. Yeah. <laughs> Gravity. 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 Bit of circular size. motion. Yeah. <laughs> loads of it. It's good. It's lovely. It looks delicious. Let's have a look at the bake. It's, it's meant to be like moon coloured. Oh, yeah. Earth. Mars. Oh, sorry, hang on. Mercury. Mer Mercury, Venus, Mar um, Earth, Mars. Oh, yeah, Mars, yeah. And then uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. No, Uranus. Yeah. Neptune. Neptune. Saturn's blue. Well, I did it yellow. <laughs> it was yellow in the book, so I did it yellow. It was yellow in the book? Yeah. Well, well done. It looks delicious. Let's eat. And it's moon coloured inside. There we go. The appetising colour of grey. <laughs> there we go. This is what YouTube's asked for. Oh. It tastes like birthday cake. It does taste like birthday cake. Wow, <laughs> look at this. This is A2 physics strikes again. So this is dispersion of light. This is a prism cake. And um, dispersion of light. White light is made of all different colours. It's got a different refractive index, so it all refracts different amounts in a prism. Would you like to cut into it and show us the, the uh, rainbow insides? <laughs> Inside, it also has all the colours of the rainbow. Where are the rest of the colours of the rainbow? <laughs> oh, there, there they are, there they are. That's good. Perfect rainbow action, look at that. Well done. For us today then, Gary. Calm down, Gary. Oh, you did that. Oh, that. Oh, it's a gorilla cake. <laughs> Pretty good. Tastes like chlorine. Bleach. Tastes like bleach. <laughs> Tastes like, Tastes like swimming, swimming pool. pool. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like swimming pool. It's like a shot of vodka without the fun. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. This is the Bohr model of the atom. What element's that? Four electrons. Boron. Boron. Beryllium. Very nice. Okay, you're going to cut? I guess so. Nice, oh. oh, it's so chocolatey. It's so timber. Got that nice crack of the oven. Yeah, yeah, good icing. Good icing action. Wow. It's been refrigerated, isn't it? It has. Did it need to be refrigerated? I, I am like 80% sure that is actually a Rice Krispie cake. Like, yeah. Static attraction there between the nucleus and the electron clouds. It's oh my word. Cake. Look at that positive nucleus he's got there. I don't we, we're not having a quarter, we're not having a quarter. <laughs> so I had some really good ideas for my showstopper. I wanted to make a um, large hadron collider. I wanted to really show how the at CERN, the, the LINAC fires the protons in, it goes into the proton synchrotron, then into the super proton synchrotron, then eventually around the LHC. So my final design was going to be a bunt loaf, and then I'd have different parts. Firstly, some cut icing coloured blue, and then some icing coloured kind of yellow around the sides. And these would show the E fields, the electric fields for the acceleration, 
and the B fields and magnetic fields to direct and focus the beams. Um, this was the intention. Uh, all I needed was a um, well-baked bunt loaf and some well-made um, icing. I'm afraid the show stops the long way before this one because the large hadron bunt loaf just disintegrated. Failed. It is raw in places. Don't you know? Don't even get a close. Don't get the close up. No. It really like you know. There is some there is some salvageable <laughs> cake for you to enjoy. There is some quite nice tasty bits, but um, in general, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid it's a it's a failure. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share, and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.